Performance-enhancing drugs have been used by sportsmen in various sports as means to boost their immune systems. They used to compete not only with other players, but also with one another to stay on top of their game. In this instance, caffeine and other metabolic stimulants are not exceptional. Professional footballers are often very upfront regarding what they are willing to put in their bodies, especially in the present era. Incidents of doping or consuming performance-enhancing drugs is a rare occasion in football. As compared to other sporting fields like athletics, football players are more careful, with regular dope tests being conducted. Gone are the days when it was acceptable to drink heavily or take drugs the night before a big game. The rules are straightforward, and if a footballer is discovered breaching them, the punishment is severe. Currently, a renowned footballer, Paul Pogba is facing the risk of a four-year ban as he failed the doping test conducted on the 20th of August, with traces of testosterone found in his system. Having said that, this is not the first time that a successful footballer has failed a drug test. Here are eight famous players who failed the anti-doping test and faced bans in the past. 8. Edgar Davids Edgar was a strong force in the midfield and one of the world's most energetic players as one of the greatest midfielders of his time. He helped Juventus win three Serie A titles between 1998 and 2003, and he also helped Ajax win the Champions League in 1994-95 season. However, when at Juventus in 2001, he faced allegations of doping after testing positive for the banned anabolic steroid Nandrolone. As a result, he received a four-month penalty, despite his emphatic denial of using the substance. In response to the accusations, Davids made a statement through The Guardian, asserting, I have never taken any illegal substances in my life. I have never used Nandrolone. I am strongly against doping in any form and have always remained committed to fair play in sports. The thought of using any form of doping has never crossed my mind. 7. Colo Toure the older brother of former Manchester City midfielder Yaya Tour was once involved in serving a six-month ban. The ex-Man City and Arsenal player Colo Tour was suspended for taking his wife's tablets. An FA report outlined that he took them because of a misplaced perception that he was fat, a symptom of his medical condition. Defender Colo Toure notably tested positive by the anti-doping authorities during his time in the blue part of Manchester. It happened in 2011, and City had to replace him with Jolien Lescott in the back line during his absence. Toure, though, in his defense, had stated to be taken his wife's tablets without much knowledge. 6. Andre Onana An event still fresh in the memory is that of Manchester United goalkeeper Andre Onana, who was banned from football in 2021. The then Ajax star's urine tested positive for furosemide and UEFA handed him a 12-month ban. But the goalkeeper claimed that he unintentionally took his pregnant wife's medicine and the ban was reduced to nine months. Club managing director Edwin van der Sar released a statement following this news which said, This is a terrible setback for Andre himself but certainly also for us as a club. We had hoped for a conditional suspension or for a suspension much shorter than these 12 months because it was arguably not intended to strengthen his body and thus improve his performance. Onana got his career back on track at Inter before his Old Trafford move. 5. Adrian Mutu One of the finest football players to emerge from Romania is Adrian Mutu. His career has been marred by his recurrent infractions of the anti-drug legislation. In the first instance, Mutu's career with Chelsea FC was cut short in 2004 when it was discovered that he had used coke. He was confined to a seven-month suspension as a result. Later on in 2010, when he was with Fiorentina, the player was again found to have a banned substance, Sibutramine, in his system. The violation invited a nine-month ban for the striker. It seems too much. I expected less because yes, the mistake was made. It's right to pay, but not so much, Mutu said in response to the suspension. 4. Deco. Deco's scenario is a bit unusual considering that his suspension occurred after his retirement, yet he still opted to challenge it. The Portuguese attacking midfielder has played for Benfica, FC Porto, Chelsea and even FC Barcelona, whereby spending his final days at Fluminense in Brazil, 
and retired in August of 2013, just shy of his 36th birthday. He had tested positive for traces of furosemide, a diuretic that can be used to mask traces of other substances, in March the same year. But he kept playing until four days prior to his retirement, with the ban officially being implemented after that. His ban was officially announced after his retirement, so that didn't play a major problem in his regular life. Deco insisted that the positive test was the result of a contaminated vitamin supplement and pleaded his innocence, hoping to overturn the ruling in spite of the fact that he had already stopped playing, and the ban essentially wouldn't have even happened. His samples were retested, and his name was cleared. Also, the Rio laboratory that had found him positive was suspended. He currently serves as sporting director for Barcelona. 3. Samir Nasri Samir Nasri was discovered to have overused a drip therapy in the US when he was a Manchester City player and on loan to Sevilla FC. Vitamin injections were administered as part of the treatment. However, it was discovered that the player consumed 10 times the World Anti-Doping Agency allowed 50 milliliters of infusion. In reality, the World Anti-Doping Agency only permits players to get 50 milliliter infusion every six hours. Nasri was doomed at this point. The initial six-month ban by UEFA was later extended to 18 months. What happened in Los Angeles ruined my season. It was an injection of vitamins that was legal and I had a prescription, but the clinic injected me with a greater amount than I had expected," Nasri said on Instagram while presenting his side of the story. After serving his suspension, he was immediately recruited by Premier League side West Ham and returned to the game. 2. Pep Guardiola Pep Guardiola may have guided Manchester City to a treble last season, which included the club's first victory in the UEFA Champions League. But he was also caught in the act once during his playing days. After his contract with FC Barcelona expired, he joined Brescia to play in Serie A in the year 2001. The excellent midfielder failed a drug test after the banned substance, Nandrolone was found in his bloodstream. The former Spanish player battled the case for good six years and eventually managed to clear his name in 2007. However, allegations arose the following year against him. He was able to win the case and clear his name again in 2009. 1. Diego Maradona The Argentina legend was notably famous for the Hand of God goal against England in the 1986 World Cup, apart from the great player he was. Without a doubt, the most high-profile example of a player being suspended for drugs is that of the Argentina legend Diego Maradona, who was banned twice. Maradona was banned from football for the first time in 1991, while playing for Napoli in Italy, after testing positive for cocaine. He received a 15-month ban and left the team in shame to join Sevilla in Spain. Maradona was banned from the game again three years later, this time as a Newell's Old Boys player, after failing a drug test for ephedrine doping at the 1994 World Cup held in the United States. He played two games in the event before being sent home due to a positive drug test. After that, he went back to his country to join Boca Juniors where he retires from his playing career. Given that he's one of the greatest players of all time, one has to wonder just how great his legacy would have been without such scandal. Tragically, on November 25th, at the age of 60, Maradona suffered a cardiac arrest and passed away peacefully in his sleep at his residence in Dique Lujan, Buenos Aires Province, Argentina. Subscribe to the channel for more videos.